part three on the sled rebuild. We are still on the quick change runners. You can see here, ooh, fancy. No, not fancy, but uh, nice to have new. So I did get this one all done um, and the black plastic is put on. That's what I was available at Comatex. So that's what I got is black. It was not an easy deal. So using this uh, triangular rasp, the uh, dovetail portion uh, was quite rough in sections uh, in the dovetail. So I spent some of the time uh, with the rasp taking a gentle rub along the uh, dovetail portion of this part of the rail and then took the rasp against the uh, aluminum here really quickly not doing a whole lot but just to give it a any high spots were taken out uh, and i had another treatment coming after that so you didn't have to go super crazy but i had to do that over there and i still have to do it over here then i had this uh wet stone that I had from an old knife uh, where it broke in half, so I don't use it. But it came in handy for this purpose. I actually went back and forth here. Um, uh, excuse me, of a shouldn't be saying that kind of thing. Back and forth up on the runner base, I guess. It's funny because uh, this uh, dovetail system on my on my sprint sled is attached directly to the uh, wood of the uh, runner base. Um, on this one they added this rail this uh, flat piece of aluminum and then the dovetail system i don't know if that facilitates it any easier getting it on and off but i'll tell you these were crazy get trying to get these ones off getting it on it went on really nice i even used a little bit of vaseline and just kind of rubbed it it slid on really nicely lined up really nice nicely the uh runner plastic that I got from Comatic uh, in Ottawa there, Canada. It already had the dr hill, holes drilled in the appropriate spot, so it was easy to attach. So, uh, we'll see what happens there. So yeah, uh, gonna do the sanding, gonna do the filing and some cleaning up on this here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a whole video on it, but we'll make an attempt. My lights are flickering on and off up there like a disco ball. I'm not sure how this got so roughed up. I don't know whether the there was a set of runners on here that got chewed up and then it got chewed right through the plastic and into the QCR system itself. I was having so much difficulty getting it off to begin with. It's like a, having a serrated knife, trying to draw backwards on it, getting a piece of the plastic off on some of this section. It's right where the foot pegs are, or the foot uh, footboards are. And the footboards is actually what's next after we flip this thing over. Um, the footboards are terrible. There's no grip whatsoever on the footboard so I bought some self tapping screws uh, we're going to drill some tiny holes in the plastic that's already set up as footboards and we're going to throw some self tapping screws maybe two dozen or so not even maybe 18 we'll see now on the other one the way I tested whether this was good uh, was I actually ran my hand up the side of the track like that, looking for burrs. <laughs> Not exactly the best way to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Blood pouring out your finger. No, I was pretty confident in my, uh, in my filing there. That, uh, I was only going to feel like minor, like right there, you know, minor stuff. If it wasn't so damn cold, I'd use some Varsol and clean the whole thing up, but... I 
really need some glasses too. I'm blind as a bat. So, right now I'm counting on the glitter from uh, where I put the file to tell me where I've been. I really, the back section is absolutely terrible. Right where the footboards are, you can feel the rough. You probably hear the roughness. If you can hear it over the wind, that's actually why I'm in working right now inside because uh, got about a half hour or so before chores and uh, it's blowing like stink out there. It's Friday. I wouldn't mind getting the plastic on this so that I can say that portion of the project is done. Nice long strokes. To make it uh, smooth. When I put it back on, I'll do the top too because you actually create a bit of a burr when you're going that direction. Freaking terrible, man. careful too because some of these some of the portions of the dovetail are so broken down you don't want to lose a whole bunch of the edge or else it's you you know you're not it's counterproductive if you're taking it all right off now this looks like a damage mark from somebody's hammer actually Ooh, An improvement, that's for sure. good guess we'll find out hey eh, when i go to put the runner on whether it's good or not right stoned where are you there you are give that shit a rub good rub one chance one opportunity to put your plastic on one thing i'm gonna attempt to wrap That's pretty rough there. Mm. Let's give that more love. Wow. Tiny bit loose, is it? Is it me? A little bit loose in that section there. We'll make sure we tighten it down good before we put it on. See? sponge we lose along the edge. That'll tell you how rough it is, isn't it? Not bad, not bad. Imagine doing this on the side of the trail. Not. That's got to be removed. On another spot.
yeah, this is kind of what I did to the other, uh, the other one there. Spent time giving it a bunch of love on the edge there. Filing it with a small triangular file, which I use generally for woodworking, but it applies to both here. Giving us our edge back, flip her back over. And uh, we'll throw the screws back in there. Uh, as I did on the other track, I found a couple of screws uh, and exchanged them for ones that were uh, about an eighth of an inch longer. So I've eaten a little bit more wood when I put the new screws in. So. Okay. Greasy fingers. We're gonna throw that over there. Huh? Yeah. Got a couple of longer ones there. Maybe too long. And I start them off really loose, like anything else that I build, whether it be a barbecue, sled, bicycle, swing set, trampolines. Oh, I've been through a few. I always do it loosey goosey. And then uh, we go around and we. Uh, Straighten it out, wiggle it, wiggle it. If stuff's not lining up, wiggle it, wiggle it till everything lines up and then you tighten your stuff down, right? Give those track runners a little bit of, or the base, a little bit of love there. Like I said too, I, I'm gonna go over the top of this dovetail. Excuse me. Oh, don't do that to me. I don't want that. Go over top of the dovetail with the sanding block. Get, get any roughness out of it. I don't like that sound. So I put an extra long one in right up at the top here. when these runners have been taken on and off, on and off, on and off, the wood spot will get worn out and uh, it's nice to have a couple that are just a tad longer so that uh, you get some new flesh to grab onto. Just grabbing the last of my track screws here. slides on nice. The other one did. Didn't take much. Taking that one's got something in it. Friday night, 50 years old. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it was quite interesting to see that there was anchors in there. The other sled builders use actually a washer and nut in there. There we go. I'm going to start hammering those down. Should I have two more? Two more? Two more? Two more? Two more? I sound like an auctioneer. Two. How about three? How about three? Are you going to give me three? Give me, give me three. Give me three. Give me four. Give me, give me four. Give me four. Give me five. Net five. Five, five, five. Five and a half. <laughs> you saw I've been watching some cattle auctions. One five million dollars for a bull. Goodness gracious. Love it. Love that sound. Alright, we'll get that. 
Yeah, baby. I think we got some Vaseline I already threw on that track system. Where is she? Right here. Yeah, when the plastic's cold, not as easy. Be nice to have like a hair dryer or something to warm it up. But here goes the cold water. No guarantees anybody here. I might have to do this all over again. So good so far. Oh, hey, oh, hip hop hooray. Sorry about that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Flipped her over. Are we correct now? Or? No, we're not. There we are. the highest quality TV here man let me tell you only the highest quality all right it's sliding on giving it that little extra filing love working out nice let's get that on there okay wow how happy am I fresh plastic on this baby. The only thing we gotta do is work on the footboards. And I even got a little extra lip at the back here. I like that. Lip on a sled I like. My girlfriend did not. We're gonna screw that all down. That's that project complete. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe, share. Shall we do a gratuitous photo of the puppies before we call it a night? Doot, 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 doot. Sorry about the uh, falling non tripod telephone. All passed out. Sleeping puppies. The black and one one is the one that's staying here at this kennel. His name is going to be Goliath. <laughs>